Hi, I'm Carl Shellshite. Welcome to Eat Prep. I want to tell you a story about a girl who I tutored years ago. Uh, this goes back to the days when the SAT only had two parts, a math part and a verbal part. Uh, and I tutored the girl for both the verbal and the math. And she really, really excelled in the math. And so oftentimes she would get through a test section uh, under simulated conditions you know, where she would get every single one right, okay? And she did this so often that I was pretty convinced that she could get a perfect score or very close to a perfect score. And so, uh, she, you know, I wound up tutoring her through the whole summer. She went in, it was a year where they had a test in September. She went in in September, we had very high hopes. Uh, and she came out with, I think it was like a 680 at the time. And so, yeah, we were a little disappointed. And, you know, I said, I don't worry about it. Maybe just got nervous. It was a bad day. No big deal. You know, just, you know, review a little bit before the next test. Go in, take it again, okay? And then there was a test in October. She went in October, and I think she got a 690, maybe 10 points higher. And again, we were very disappointed. Couldn't really figure out what was going on. So we got together a few times again before the next test and practiced. And again, she was doing very well. Uh, she wound up going in in November and getting like a 700, okay? So, you know, at that point, her parents were like, you know what, honey, you, you've done a great job. You've worked really hard. Uh, clearly, you've kind of reached your peak here. Uh, we're proud of you. Don't worry about it. And you know what? I think that's exactly what her parents should have said to her, okay? We had very high hopes, but, you know, she had gotten around the same score three times in a row, and her parents basically just told her that they loved her and that uh, they were very happy with her efforts. Uh, and, and that's kind of when I got involved and, and I said to her, you know what, uh, your parents love you uh, and they really care about you and I think they are saying the right thing. Uh, but with all due respect, I feel like I know you better as an SAT student than they do. And, and we both know, I said to her, that you can do a lot better than a 700, you know, based on what you've done in practice with me. And so I kind of convinced her parents to let her take it one last time. Uh, you know, and I felt like, you know what, you owe it to yourself to give it one last shot. Um, and if it doesn't work out, great. You know, the 700 is a good score. You will get into a good school, so don't worry about it. And so I kind of talked to the parents, and I said, you know, again, with all due respect, you know, I think she can do better. Please just give her a chance to do it again. And so I said to her, you know what, don't prepare before the last one. You've done well. Be relaxed. Just go in and do the best that you can. Okay, and she went in and actually got an 800, uh, and she is, I think, a junior at Dartmouth College right now. And so uh, the moral of this story is not that if you keep trying, eventually you'll get an 800, because I don't think everybody can get an 800. The moral of the story is that when you're practicing on your own, and if you're practice, practicing with the College Board tests under simulated conditions, if you're doing really, really well, and you go in, you take the SAT, and you score significantly lower than what you expected, you really do owe it to yourself to keep trying until you get that score that you deserve, okay? And if you run out of time, so be it, but at least give it a shot so you don't have that lingering thought in the back of your head, like, what if? What if I had gone in that one last time and gotten the score that I think I could have gotten, okay? Um, now, some people worry about, you know, oh, is it bad to take the test too many times? I don't think so, okay? I think you go in, you keep working until you get the test, that you, you know, the score that you deserve. And I think, if anything, college admissions people will look at somebody who's taken it many times and finally done well as, as somebody who is willing to set goals and work at them and stick with it until they get what they want. And I think it's definitely, you know, it speaks volumes about the kind of person that you are. And I think that's just the kind of person that colleges want to have, the kind of people who are willing to set goals and work at them and not give up if they meet uh, something less than complete success the first time around. And so, you know, hopefully this little story will help you. If you're a person who hasn't gotten the score you think you deserve yet, keep trying. Eventually you may get there.